Carmen was actually born hearing, around 13 months of age, contractive meningitis, so lost her hearing around then. We did a bilateral implant um, a, about a month later. We had no experience with hearing loss. We had no idea what we were about to encounter. This is laying right underneath her skin, um, behind her ear. And here is the actual electrode array that goes down inside the ear. And what's gonna happen today is that we're gonna take this external processor, we're gonna program it for her needs. It will communicate through the skin and it will tell this part of the implant what information to send up to her brain. do a lot of, of speech therapy and Miss Kelly comes up with different activities for Carmen to do to engage her. Originally we were working on just auditory awareness. Does she hear sound? Does she recognize the sound? And then we just built from there. So I was doing traditional language therapy with her but also keeping in mind that she needed that auditory component to make sure that she was keeping up with her peers. She is developing language at the speed of light. <laughs> she is even advanced in some Eight. ways of her peers. Eight. Eight. One. 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 Listen. Nora. Nora. I think there's a lot of things that come along with hearing that are just taken for granted. Um, so from that perspective, it, it it's a lot of work in the very beginning. The, the team here works phenomenally with us as far as what we need for the um, processors or any types of problems we have, they're able to help us out with. Just seeing her and how happy she is and all of her language and how she's excited makes us excited for her future. Ice cream, what color is it? She, she loves music, she dances all around, she likes playing instruments, she loves the guitar, she's a rock star now, so she puts her glasses on and dances in front of the camera. It's really something that's hard to describe without seeing it for your own eyes and, and really seeing how far she's come. I just thought it was amazing how once everything was, we find out what had happened, that, that you all were able to do something right away. We're from a small town in North Carolina. We didn't have this kind of capability. And I'm just so happy that she's where she is, where this is available. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.